the most dangerous woman in the world. Now, who might that be? Think about that for a second. You've got Jihad Janie out there and her, her other American female buddy who's inciting terror and plotting with terrorists. You've got women all around the globe that are just evil, pure evil. But there's one woman that by far is the most dangerous on the planet today. On this program, I'm going to tell you who that is. Stay tuned for today's edition of Live Prayer. What problems are you dealing with in your life right now? Do you feel like giving up? Times are hard and you're not strong. I know the answer for you, and it will lead to the truth. Don't look back to yesterday. Now there are answers. Welcome to Live Prayer. It's waiting there for you. Here's your host, Bill Kelly. You can make it through. There is a hope. And welcome to Live Prayer. I'm Bill Keller. It's good to have you with me on this Thursday, as today we're going to take a look at the most dangerous woman on the planet, and I'm going to make the case why she is exactly that. Welcome to the program. I'm so glad that you've tuned in this morning. Of course, Live Prayer airs here on MyTV8 every Monday through Friday morning from 7 to 7.30. Please do me a favor and tell your family and friends about the program. This is a unique program, unlike anything you're ever going to see. Yes, it's Christian, a Christian program, and I know this is not a Christian network, but you know what? For the last seven years, I've done radio and TV programs on only secular stations. Why? Simple. I'm not interested in building buildings. I'm not interested in buying planes or houses or fancy. I'm only interested in one thing seeing the lost come to faith in Jesus Christ and bringing the truth of God's word to the events of the day and seeing this nation turn back to God and biblical truth. If you've watched this program in the past few days, you know that this is not a program for you to watch if you're looking for a feel-good message, some mamby-pamby preacher. Yesterday's program was on exactly that issue, gutless preachers. If you want truth, if you want real hope, if you have needs in your life that need to be met, if you're looking for someone to line up with that's going to help lead this nation back to God and biblical truth, this is the program. Let me tell you something. I like to listen to Rush Limbaugh. I like to listen to satanic cult member Glenn Beck, Sean Hannity. I get a kick out of the clowns over on MSNBC. But you know what these people have in common? Other than Beck, and we'll talk about him next week, these people primarily are doing nothing but political commentary. I don't care about politics. I really don't. Because politics isn't going to save this nation. This nation, my friend, is in spiritual freefall. We have only one hope. And it's not going to be found in a politician, but in turning this nation back to God and biblical truth. Without that, this nation is destined to feel the wrath and fury of Almighty God. We literally stand in the middle of the street with our middle finger in the air pointed to the heavens every day, slaughtering 4,000 innocent babies every 24 hours, making a mockery of God's holy institution of marriage. We perverted God's wonderful gift of sex. We are now in mainstream accepting of homosexuality, of gambling, of pornography. Forty years ago, this was not so. Forty years ago, nobody would have labeled me a hate monger simply for sharing the truth of this book with people because that's all I do. What I share with you each day, it's not my opinions. It's God's opinion. It's not my thoughts. They're the thoughts of Almighty God as he gave them to us in the inspired and errant word of God, representing absolute truth and our final authority in all matters. So I know, just trust me and in the first three days of this program, the emails have come pouring in. And i got to admit, though, there are people out there that say, my goodness, a man who's finally taking a stand for God in the, market, in the marketplace, in the public square. And, of course, just as many who think I'm straight from the pits of hell. 
hate monger, hate speech, because they can't stand the truth. Let me share with you what's coming up on this program the rest of this week, on tomorrow's program, the final program for this week, next week. Tomorrow, I'm going to make the case why President Barack Hussein Obama is a true enemy of God. I don't call him that. God does in the book of James when he says a friend of this world is an enemy of God. You've never seen a bigger friend of the world than Barack Hussein Obama. We'll talk about that tomorrow. And again, it has nothing to do with his politics. It has to do with his stand on the spiritual issues of the day. Again, I could care less about politics. And I'm, I was equally as hard on George W. Bush for lying to Christians, how he's going to be this great savior of uh, for the abor anti-abortion movement and, 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 and take a stand on all these pressing spiritual issues of the day that have led this nation into a spiritual abyss. He did none of that. He lied. I hammered him. So whether it's a black Democrat, a white Republican, I could care less. My issue is not politics. It's the spiritual state of this nation, and that is exactly what God has called me to talk about, and nobody is going to stop me from doing that. I have every right to educate, inform, people on these issues. Next week, Monday, we're going to talk about senior saints, the most underused, underappreciated, undervalued segment of the body of Christ. Tuesday, I'm going to make the case for you why Mormon cult members, Glenn Beck and, and Mitt Romney, are what they're really up to. I know people love Glenn Beck because he hates Obama and he hates all the, and that's fine. But he's got an agenda, my friend. So does Mitt Romney. I'm going to expose their Mormon agenda for you on Tuesday. Wednesday, is homosexuality a choice or are people born that way? Are they born gay, as many claim? We'll talk about that controversial issue Wednesday. Thursday, is abortion really murder? Or is it just a lump of tissue, as some people would like you to have you believe? We'll deal with that on Thursday. And then next Friday, I'm going to share with you an infomercial that's playing all around the country now. I put together called Our Nation's Only Hope, and, it, and this infomercial lays out why our nation's only hope is to turn back to God. So we've got a great lineup of programs for you next week. I'm getting ready to take a break, and when I come back, I'm going to tell you who the most dangerous woman on the planet is today. You need to stay tuned, because for some of you, you may be shocked who this woman is. And you may be more shocked at why she is the most dangerous woman on the planet. Watch this important message, and I'll be back to share with you the true identity of the most dangerous woman on the planet. Now, you can be part of this great movement to turn this nation back to God and biblical truth. One way you can help is by donating your old gold and jewelry to goldforsouls.com. Goldforsouls.com was set up to make it easy for people like you to give to support this great effort. It works much like the other popular sites where you can send in your old gold and jewelry, except instead of getting a check back for a fraction of the value of the items you send in, we will send you a donation receipt for the fair market value of your jewelry. For example, if you send one of these many popular companies $100 worth of jewelry, you'll get back a check for around $10. By donating your valuables to goldforsouls.com, we will send you a donation receipt that you can write off your taxes for the full $100. What you donate to goldforsouls.com will not only get you a 